hello today i will show you how you can actually uh, delete or update multiple data from uh, multiple row from a table inside your website and here you can see in, a, in our request page and here we have actually shown if there is no uh, request then we are showing this message but if there is a request then we can see the, those message here first let's um, modify this writing a bit this is a bit too small so we are going to add a html tag h1 So we are going to add the tag inside this echo like this and then we need to end it. So the heading tag will actually make the word a bit more larger. Okay, now this is okay but uh, we what we want to do is if we want to actually delete a request that we have made by mistake then we need to actually uh, check them and then we can delete it by um, pressing a button. So let's add some request first so now you can see that there are multiple um, requests for the same book so if we want to actually delete one of them or if we want to delete multiple requests at the same time then we need to actually add a checkbox here so that we can check the desired book that we want to uh, delete then we will add a button after all this uh, if we press on that button then all the selected books will be deleted at the same time you can use this for update query too all the things will remain same just the query will be different So here is our student side request.php page and here you can see that we have actually shown our table here inside this table we are going to add a header and a new data we are not changing our database uh, table we are just changing the table that we have shown inside this web page so as you can see we have already logged in to actually reach this request.php page we cannot uh, actually enter inside this if we don't log in so we can now delete this login condition here so we are going to delete this part and then we are going to delete the if condition also from the top of this all this query everything is okay till this point and if there is no book we are going to show it like this and if there are requests then we are going to show them here in this table so let's add some another uh, table header here after this but before that we need to add a form as we are going to use a button and if we want to perform some operation by using php we need to actually create a form before this and then we need to give the information inside this form tag that is actually method will be equal to post if we don't write it we cannot actually perform any operation by using that button The form will end after all this uh, table after the button so we just need to have the first form uh, starting tag here before this table start now after this uh, here we are going to add a new table header so let's copy this and add the header for um, checking we are going to write uh, checkbox for checkbox here we need to write select Here you can see the new column actually added here and now what we need to do is we need to actually add the data also for this select option but you can see that these spacing are not actually equal so if we want to add that we need to actually write something inside our style tag we are going to give a width 100 pixel Okay, now all of them have the same spacing. What we can do now is add the data here for uh, checking. For adding the checkbox, you can add another information here. We outside our PHP tag, so let's uh, end our PHP after that echo, then start again. And in between this, we are going to write our new table data. So here inside this, we are going to give an input type will be checkbox and you can give any name I'm going to give it check 
then give a parenthesis like this third bracket and then we are going to add value okay i have added the value inside the quotation of that name so this will be outside that okay here the value and value will be this will be another php variable so we need to write it inside our php tag and that will be actually our bid book id so here we are going to write first start and end the php tag in between them write a dollar underscore sorry echo dollar row bid inside single quotation okay this will be actually inside double quotation because this is actually inside our echo and now we can actually select all these options and then if we actually create a button here we can actually uh, delete the selected uh, options or rows from this table so here is our table ending so after the table we are going to add the button so this is actually inside our form so let's end our php and here we are going to create our button inside a paragraph tag then here the value of the button will be delete and let's see okay we are getting an error unexpected end so that means i have not actually ended or started anything okay there is our php tag i have not actually started it after ending it before this paragraph tag so after this we are going to add some styling for our button as you can see this button is here so we need to just add some styling and take it in the middle position so here the align will be center and inside the button we are going to actually add some um, class name and type and other things so type is always submit because we are going to submit this one and write our php code later the name let's name it delete then the class name will be btn and then btn success this is our bootstrap class and then here after this we are going to add the operation here on click we are going to re refresh or reload the page so we are going to write location dot reload then parenthesis this will actually reload the page if we click on this button let's see now this is the button if we click on it you can see the page is actually reloading check here the page is actually reloading every time we click the button and then after this we are going to end our php again and sorry start our php and end it inside this we are going to write if is set dollar underscore post then our button name submit sorry our button name was delete this time not submit button type was submit but the name was delete now we need to write some condition for our checkbox so if is set dollar underscore post and this time inside this variable will be the name of our checkbox that was actually check here you can check it here so dollar underscore post check and then inside this parenthesis we are going to write for each then the variable name dollar underscore post check as and then we are going to give a variable name instead of all this let's name it delete id so now we can use this variable inside our query i'm just copying the variable and now here we are going to write our query inside mysqli underscore query this will be simply a delete query that we have written previously nothing new so delete from our table name was issue book and then we are going to write where 
book id it will be equal to our variable name that is delete id and then we are going to give a username because the same book can be actually requested by multiple people we cannot delete others request this will be our login user and there is no quotation mark then after this we are going to need to uh, add, add some other conditions here also and this is actually required because a student can actually uh, request for multiple books and as you can see here both the book id are one if we select one then both of them are going to be deleted so if we want to delete one we need to actually order them uh, by the book id in ascending or descending order then we need to give the limit So now let's check if this is working or not. If we delete it, we need to refresh the page again. Okay, this is not deleting the data. We need to actually find the error. Let me see if we can actually see the variable if we can actually get the variable properly then the something is wrong with our query okay we are getting the values properly book id is one we just need to check our query that's all let me delete this and check the query Okay, I have actually forgotten to give a single quotation mark here. Now if we refresh it, you can see one value is deleted. Like this we can actually delete multiple option too if we actually select multiple uh, options and then click delete we are going to see both of them are deleted okay there is no pending request now so uh, this way you can actually delete or update multiple requests by using checkbox and the process is same just uh, the query will be a bit different and here you can see that um, the button is actually required to reload every time we click it but we are not actually getting this every time we are going to delete it but if we click second time then we are going to see the result let me just uh, show you again there is our new request we are going to delete it and then we are going to press the delete button double time then you will see that we don't need to refresh the page okay this time and if we click second time which is going to reload the page and we are going to see the uh, proper data here thank you